right, so today we are climbing Mount St. Helens from the Climber's Bovac. It's two miles through the tree line and then to the top it, it's about a 4,600 foot climb, just shy of that. Um, total round trip it'll be eight miles, but the real challenge is going to be that elevation gain. We're going to start hitting really quickly. So I've come out with a few friends. This is a permitted climb during peak seasons, during winter seasons. It'll get more technical with snow and ice. Um, but during peak seasons, you have to get it a permit because they're trying to limit the traffic and, you know, protect our forest lands. So let's get this underway. It's uh, just after 6.30, and so you're gonna try and get up there, trying to get up there before the heat of the day. Do you just wanna to be left outside the grave? It's all for sure, I didn't know. I wonder what it meant to be. If I let go and let it flow, I think there's more to see. So, talking about trash and pack it in and pack it out, um, being a whitewater rafter, we take it beyond just picking up our trash and bringing it out because a lot of people will think of it as like you know your water bottle or a candy wrapper or whatever have you um but we try to go beyond that in even attempting to not leave crumbs of food around because it's really this theory of leave no trace leave nothing but footprint and then for me personally i like to leave things better than I found them so I always try to pick up one piece of trash that isn't mine and if I can do just one I think it makes a difference because if you think about the amount of people that traffic these trails if everybody who came through picked up just one piece of trash that wasn't yours right. we would never have to you know worry about trails getting destroyed in these areas in the ecosystem being affected by our presence and we're actually leaving the world a better place. So there's my rant on that. <laughs> Do you just feel like there is no air left to breathe? Do you just wanna to be left outside the grave? It's all for sure I didn't know. I wonder what it meant to be. If I let go and let it flow, I think there's more to see. Probably not gonna get a ton of footage of that because I'm gonna be putting gloves on. Work, but I'll get a few shots. To show you what's up about it. any faster than you're comfortable with. So my crew has switched from hiking poles to gloves because this is going to be a lot of hand climbing, a lot of pulling through. 
I'm not ready to put my gloves on yet. I feel like they're hot and uncomfortable and what I've touched so far hasn't really bothered me yet. So it's really a personal decision on how sensitive your hands are. Uh, I might put them on up here a little further, but I'm just gonna kind of test it as we get started and see how it goes. So, but very important to bring both. Bring your hiking poles, for me especially on the way down because I get sore knees and, and gloves, just in case. It's better to come over prepared than under prepared every time, no matter where you go. 45. 45? Okay, I don't remember. Yeah. The climb is 45. And you guys said your watches said we're at 1700, 1800. We're not even halfway there yet. Woo! I thought it was 4580. miles in and it's four miles total but we are only right at what two six two two <laughs> so we're just over halfway on our elevation so it looks like this last mile is just gonna be nothing but climbing and this is definitely not hiking this is climbing we are traversing big my gloves, I recommend them. Not everybody needs them, but I just wear them. These are horse gloves, but someone said garden gloves. Mm -hmm. Anything, because your, your hands get wore out or aren't calloused at all. These rocks get sharp and they will beat them up. Earlier, I didn't think I needed them, but I think probably on my way back down, I'm gonna need to put the gloves on because you are really, it's like whole body climbing now that we're getting into this. You know, not just relying on my legs, you're relying on your entire, body to pull you along. Some of these moves are slightly tricky. Right. So what does your watch say we're at now? Half a mile left. And we have a thousand feet, you think? It says 2907. So 1500 feet and a half a mile. Holy shit. Well, that's gonna be a long half mile. So, Boulder Field behind us, Ash Field in front of us. We are just so close and it's so exciting. It feels so close yet so far away. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go, actually. You know what? Let's go get a view. On this side. It's hard work, but it is so rewarding to just like put in that work and make it happen. I don't know about anybody else, but I think there's nothing better than this kind of work. So, let me know. <laughs> Shun your couch, climb a mountain. <laughs> I love it. Quotes by Ali. All right. Let's push through that final ash field and see that crater. Also, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to like it. Leave me a comment on what mountains you've climbed. What was your favorite part? What was the worst part? I have a feeling based on the information I have, the ash field, your final push on this one, is gonna be our worst part. But we're so close, I can taste it. We are Traversing this ash field, and I just want to say that it sucks. I pulled out the hiking poles because this was the part that I really needed help with. And it's like, shit, like 
can feed in the last mile. Yeah. Yeah. It's like not a regular mile. So we're so close to the top. Oh, I just see it. Hello. <laughs> Are you crying? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you fucking did it, girl. Thank you. <laughs> I was, I was like, Dover's so bad. It was so hard. Yeah. So 